What's up beautiful people? This is Summer Healy and in this video I'm going to show you guys a live trade analysis of a trade that I took on September 15th and uh, I'm going to show you guys how I entered, how I exited, what I made on it. Everyone wants to know the juicy details of how much money I made on this trade so I'll share with you guys the profit and um, hopefully you guys can get some value out of this. Excuse the crazy hair. Anyways, let's get into it. What's up, peeps? <clears throat> this is Sunray Healy, and you guys are looking at my screen right now. We're looking at the NASDAQ futures contract. Um, and so what I'm going to go over with you guys is a parabolic short that I took on September 15th. And uh, what you're looking at right now is the 15-minute chart. And so I like to do a lot of my uh, just basic technical analysis on the 15-minute chart. Uh, it just gives me a little bit of a broader view, and I can find some levels that are a little more important. And again, all these levels, they're not anything that's um, hyper significant in my opinion. They're just lines in the sand. They're just places that you're looking to see how the market reacts at those certain levels. And that's going to give you a better understanding of what the market wants to do. Um, and so they're really just indicators of the overall strength or weakness of the market. And so we're just using these levels to gauge how the market is, is feeling, essentially. It's like a, an emotional test for the market. Um, so we had this monster rip on Friday, really, really strong day. Um, we were up almost 50 points, actually 50 points plus, which is a really big day for the NASDAQ. Um, and so we'll, we'll jump down to the five minute chart, which is what I was looking at. So you see this just gnarly parabolic move up. And so if you're, you know, in the trading community, you probably know that parabolic shorts are all the rage right now. It seems like everyone and their mom trades parabolic shorts. Um, but there's there's a little more of a, a science to it than just an art. I think a lot of people assume that you should just be going short anytime the market's up a lot, and that's absolutely not the case. And so what we're looking for is context and uh, trying to figure out where is the market going to want to turn around or where is the possibility of the market turning around. And so we have this monster rip up, uh, one, two, three, four, five green candles straight up. And uh, this level right here was... 612 roughly was the level that I was looking at. This was essentially the line in the sand for me. And so I was watching this rip and I, you know, I'm not looking to take any trades or participate in any which way until we get to this level. This is going to tell me, do we want to go higher? Are we going to hit this level and rest? And do we want to, you know, make some kind of consolidation and uh, build something constructive to move higher? And then if that was the case, I would look for a long, or are we going to come here, have an emotional pop, and then look to fall over. And that was more of a likely scenario. It's very rare that a market's going to push much higher after five candles of straight green. Um, so it was pretty unlikely that we were going to get that long. But it was something that was in my back pocket. So I had no bias either which way. I was just looking to see how the market reacted at this point. And so uh, <clears throat> I got in at uh, on this candle right here, if you guys can see right there this is my entry right here so i got in at 6011 and so what i was watching is you have you know this ramp right here and every candle is getting a little more momentum a little more momentum and we get to this level and you just get this emotional shove and usually when you see these emotional shoves the market doesn't really know how to build off of it they're not what i call constructive moves they're very volatile and emotional and so if you get red following an emotional move like that it's a pretty good sign that you're going to go lower. So I took this short at 6011, so a point lower than this resistance level, and uh, ended up closing it a little preemptively. But that is, you know, what's going to happen in a lot of your trades. Sometimes you're not going to be able to milk them for all that they're worth. I ended up closing this at uh, 602. So I profited nine points per contract. I was trading one contract, which netted me about $175. And this occurred over the span of about half an hour. And so the way I go about trading on Fridays is, um, you know, I'm always hyper selective in my trades, but my criteria gets even more selective and even more rigid when it comes to trading on Fridays, because uh, Fridays can just be tricky days to trade. And especially if you've had a really nice week leading up to them, you don't want to end the weekend sulking over a big loss that you took on a Friday. And so I like to trade very small and trade pretty conservatively and only pick the very, very best setups uh, on Fridays. And so this is exactly what this was. This was a bread and butter setup for me. I could have milked it for a little more, but I'll take 176 bucks per contract in 30 minutes. So hope you guys learned a thing or two about this trade. 
Uh, this is a pretty simple one right here. You know, this is a, a one that anyone can participate in. You don't need a large account to trade the style. What you're really looking for is context. Understanding the context of the market and seeing how it's reacting at these context zones. And so this would be a context zone. This would also be a context zone. And so you're just looking to see how the market's participating there and reading the tape and looking at order flow. And uh, that's going to give you a little more insight. So hope you guys learned a thing or two from this video. If you want to get better at your trading, be sure to subscribe, drop a comment down below, message me. I'm here to help you guys, whatever you guys need. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, take care, guys.